Hello, I'm Tina Hanai Miller coming to you from New York City from Biomimicry 3.8. So I first learned about biomimicry when I was in high school and I was getting really into um, learning about climate crisis in a place that was in total denial about sea level rise in Miami. Um, this was right before Inconvenient Truth. And I remember just being filled with such a sense of relief and excitement and hope when I opened up World Changing, this kind of encyclopedic book put together by Alex Stefan. And in all of these entries, I was just putting post-it notes and I remember so clearly the one on biomimicry about um, the gecko and uh, the Van der Waals effect and also the lotus and um, lotus paint. So these classic biomimicry examples. And it's such a trip to now be working at Biomimicry 3.8 on design solutions of our own. So um, it really has shifted things for me from a place of utter helplessness and climate grief and loss, um, which I still feel when it comes to my hometown of Miami. But now I feel like there's such potential and possibility if we just look around and truly experience the sense of belonging and even if I eventually will not be able to go home to my hometown of Miami, I'll still be able to go home in the sense of belonging in nature, belonging to our ecology as a human being. So um, just the framework shift was really incredible. Um, together, we can put nature back into human nature, join the biomimicry movement.